anniversary this month, y'all. Yeah, believe it or not, 20 years of fucking. Right. I know I don't look it, but my gynecologist will agree it's been about 20 young, long fucking hard years, y'all. Getting it down, getting it down. You know, but after a certain point, you know, when you have a 20th anniversary, you usually look forward to the gifts you receive. Like, when's your anniversary? It could be like a platinum ring or a platinum necklace. Or, you know, if you have a job for 20 years, you usually get like a gold watch. But when you've been fucking for 20 years, you don't start looking forward to the things you may have earned, like the possibilities of this STD, or getting pregnant, or the stretched out coochie that you may have earned. You know, after 20 years of fucking, your pussy starts to look like it's been beat up by fight night. It's so, all right? So I decided that I'm gonna start settling down and start fucking people I actually like for a change. Yeah. So I went on a date with a guy who was really sweet. And then we were having dinner and he looked at me and he said, well, how many men have you been with? I hate that fucking question. <laughs> so you know, I, I laughed and I tried to change the subject. And I asked him, well, how many women have you been with? And he said to me, 24. And in my head, I'm thinking, fucking novice, 24. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So I was like, oh, OK, yeah, that's great. He's like, well, no, how many men, how many men have you been with? And I looked at him in the eye and said, enough. <laughs> OK, enough to know what I'm doing and enough to know if you don't. OK? Because to be honest with you, it wasn't if I didn't want to tell him. I just don't fucking know anymore. OK? I just don't count everybody. Are you ladies counting everybody? I, I, you didn't got to raise your hand tonight, y'all. <laughs> everybody, because everybody does not deserve a number, okay? Because everybody who has this right does not get a number. Did not. Number one person you should not be counting, I like to call this guy the water boiler. The guy who can come before water can boil. Do not count him, all right? Number two, I like to call this guy the yawner. The guy you fucked because you were bored. People from the South understand that premise. It happens more often down here. Okay. And also, I don't count anybody if I've been finger fucked by or if I give it a hand job to. Don't count them as well. Do not artificially inflate your numbers with this fool. All right? He does not deserve it. But you do have to count them if you have sex with them more than once. And you do have to count them if you get knocked up. Because we can't have any more immaculate conceptions, y'all. No more of those. But now I decided when I do get the man, I'm going to be a crazy chick, y'all. Because crazy chicks keep men. They do. Do some be leaving, leaving them crazy girls. They don't. One of my good friends, he's been with his girlfriend for about three and a half years. He won't marry her, but he refuses to break up with her. And she, he was telling me the other day, he said, Lena, you know, my girlfriend, she's crazy. She slashed my tires, she keep my car, she drives past the house around midnight to make sure I'm home. <laughs> and I'm like, well, why don't you just break up with the bitch? He said, because the bitch is crazy. And she did that to my car, imagine what she do to me. And I said, no, this bitch is a genius, y'all. This dude is going nowhere anytime soon. She has put a seed of fear in his heart. This fool is going nowhere. You know, they said love should have brought your ass home last night, but you know fear will bring a dude home before curfew. Bring him home before curfew, he'll take a cab of 